Williams with the performance balancing looked over by those torque sensors, the rear axles of the car. It's an energy management formula. But yeah, as, as I mentioned on the grid read, Clement Novelak's a gold, whereas those in front and behind are silver. So for consistency, Clement Novelak should be marginally better than, for instance. The other thing I meant to do this morning was check the forecast for the whole of the afternoon, though, because uh, midweek there was predicted a few showers in the area. There was a pretty significant storm not that far away from where we had dinner last night and uh, hail at one point it as did well. Last night? Yeah. But There's a massive local marathon happening just outside the circuit this morning and this afternoon. So two major sporting events around the, the valley. Thankfully, that means that the main weather system has blown through, so we're not going to get hailstones in the middle of the race. It looked OK till 3.30. Very slim chance of rain. Nice bit of cloud cover, which will help the race engines and will help the tyre wear as well. We're working. Sarapovi also now looking racy and looking to see, I think now looking actively for a way by Derek De Boer, putting the Aston Martin driver under pressure. Got a good run there out of the final turn. And it's touched right under the rear wing of the Vantage. What can the 911 do here? It's going to be a drag race. Helped out by that big hole in the air being made by Derek De Boer. So De Boer will have the inside line for San Donato. How late is he going to break, though? And is Sarah Bovey going to be braver as she slows for the first corner? The problem is, if she gets caught on that side, this might be an in for Martin Berry. However, she's got the move done on the exit of San Donato. I was about to say the next corner is a left-hander. Iron Dames uh, from various levels of that programme, loving that.